Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. Um, today, it's snowing, and I'm getting tired of wearing the same boots I've been wearing. And my uh, secondary boots are currently broken. I need to get them fixed. Um, so, tertiary boots, the ones that are super shiny that I bought in the thrift store, that like weren't laced up when you came to visit, I decided to look at novelty uh, shoelacing techniques and you can't really see it that well on here but I tried the lattice lace and it is pretty cool and works well on feet I tried um, and so I did it on that boot and I'm gonna do it on the other boot now and show you and you will get the delightful show of this cat trying to help she is my assistant she's just not a very good assistant so step one I'm doing this on the floor so step zero a boot. You need eight pairs of eyelets. These have two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine pairs. Nine. So step one is a straight bar across the bottom, as it is with most, if not all, shoelacing techniques. Ta da! So for this one, you know, you want the laces to end up on the inside of the shoe, like that. I'm gonna quickly look at my other boot for reference. For step two, you have it, you have each lace climb up, you know, the insides of their individual sides. So it looks like that, you know, it goes in, no crossing or anything, just in, over, out on the same side. And then you start with the crisscrosses. Um, it's much easier to do all of one side and then all of the other side uh, rather than trying to crisscross it on the way. At least that's what the uh, instructional website told me, and so I'm going with it, and this is pretty easy. So uh, what you do here is, I'm going to show you the finished one again. I wish this had more contrast. All right, so there's three going up and then three going down. These three are all coming from one of the side laces and the other three are from the other side. I'll show you that in a moment in more detail, but so next step you start the diagonals, right? And um, since for this you you're doing basically parallel lines of diagonals, you want to carry it under on the same side of the shoe and you'll basically be doing up that diagonal and then up up that side and then down that diagonal and hump up that side and then up. I'll show you. Since there's three, you skip one, two, three eyelets and go in onto the fourth. Tighten and that's your first of the diagonals, right? Hop up on the inside of the boot again. This is easier to show you than last time, right? So you're Friggin' laces, I swear to God. Strap comes out here, goes in there. Ah! <laughs> and then you bring it back down in parallel with the one before it. So then you go into one above, pull through, don't make like a little knot or put it around itself or anything. See, no tangles. Um, and then sticking, ah, sticking to the underside of the shoe, go in to the next one, pull through, and parallel again, back up to the top. All right, cool. Difficult part, half done. Easy half of difficult part, done. Same thing. See, now you have these three stripes. Cool, right? So you start weaving through with the long end that you haven't done yet. I recognize that this is kind of difficult to see, and I apologize for that, right? But here's your three diagonals. And here's your long end. So I wanted to start with over, under, over. Kind of difficult to do this while holding up the shoe, but no matter. And then you carry it through like you did with the other one, right? You put it into the next eyelet. 
try to not catch it on anything and everything. Which, you know, is less likely to happen if you're not me, I guess. Put it through the back here. Back out to the front. And go... This time, when you're going back, go under, over, under again. And I try to pull it, like, not all the way through, not, to not taut every time, but enough to, like, get an idea of what's actually happening there, right? And so then on this side, we're back here, go in. Oops, I was pulling on the wrong side for a little bit. And then back out there and then you do your last bit of weaving so since last time it was under over under this time it's over under over and then into that sixth eyelid and by sixth eyelid here it's actually the seventh and also tightening this is slightly counterintuitive right so the first with the first boot i was basically like pulling random things until it felt right or looked right. Anyway, voila, here's your cool lattice thing. And then did a regular crisscross lace. I will show you in a moment the whole glorious thing. Turns out Gorillapod's not actually perfectly suited for knees. Ta-da! So that is my super exciting lesson that I've been recording for how long? Wow. So that was my super exciting thing for the week. Um, we keep having this lovely, uh, I guess it's a step back to the winters of old and or the fault of global warming, um, where it is too cold to snow for several days in a row, and then on the weekend the heavens open and <laughs> it snows several inches. Um, so that's been real obnoxious with all the temperature ups and downs. I just, like, I just wanted to stay in... The current temperature is actually pretty nice for winter, you know? It's... The current temperature is 30 degrees. 30 degrees is fine for winter. 30 degrees is perfectly acceptable for January, February... February now? Temperature. I don't know. I am clearly not in charge of that. Anyway, so this is my little, uh, educational moment. Um... And that's all. Love you. Bye-bye.